You know code gets compiled down to zeros and ones, but how does the CPU make sense of all that binary? We first need to understand Boolean logic. In Boolean logic, we only ever have two values, true and false. One or more of these values is fed into what's called a logic gate, which performs one of several fundamental operations, and, or, not, and zor. The and operator takes in two input values, and the output is only true if both A and input B are true, hence the name AND. The OR operator also takes in two inputs, but the output is true if either A or input B are true. Catching on? The NOT operator switches the value. With only one input, a true becomes false and a false becomes true. The ZOR operator is true when either input A or input B is true, but excludes when both A and B are true, becoming false. The combination of NOT with the other three operators is so common that we have three hybrid gates, NAND, NOR, and XNOR. They simply return the inverse of the output of AND, OR, and ZOR, respectively. Their symbols are representative of the two symbols combined. More complex symbol combinations can create more useful operations. For example, we can make a half adder with an AND and ZOR gate that can add single digit binary numbers together. With a couple more gates, we can create a full adder, which can be chained together to add much larger numbers. It takes millions of logic gates to build a full processor, but the fundamental concept is the same. Zeros and ones enter the processor through instructions, and zeros and ones exit the processor and are written into memory. 